What is up, FN True followers and the members of the YWC? GC Styles here with the FN brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com. This is the very first TNA pay per view review of the 2012, so let's get right into it. Got a couple things I want to talk about about tonight's pay per view, and I would like to hear your guys' thoughts, so feel free to leave your comments down below on what you thought of the pay-per-view or even send us a video response letting us know what you felt of the pay-per-view. We start off the show, we have a fatal, well we have a four-way elimination match for the TNA X Division Championship. We see Austin Aries defend against Zima Ion, Jesse Sorensen, and Kid Cash. We see the first to be eliminated, We see, followed by the next one, we see Kid Cash Eliminated first, and followed by Zima Ion, Jesse Sorensen. Went to the top rope, and Ion grabbed the foot of Jesse, uh, which allowed Austin Airy to do a drop kick, followed by an avalanche cliffhanger brain buster off the second rope to retain his TNA X Division Championship. Sorry if I feel a little, if I sound a little congested, guys. I am fighting a ear infection, and I'm also uh, fighting a cold. But I wanted to get this to you guys. Then they show a backstage promo with the Pope and Devon's kids, talking about how after tonight's match with Devon, they will no longer see. Uh, after Pope's match with Devon, they will no longer see him, quote unquote, ass, uh, no more. Then they show a video package of the Pope and Devon's feuds over the last couple of months, over the last several months, I should say. We see Devon pick up the win in a very uh, good match over the Pope. And post-match, we see Devon and his kids hug in the middle of the ring. Uh, Pre-match, during, well, during the match, we see uh, the Pope was getting uh, way too aggressive on Devon and the kids jumped in and said, "Hey, you know that's my that's my father. What are you doing?" And the Pope laid his hands on Devon's kids. Uh, the next match we see Gunner take on RVD, which was I don't give RVD a lot of credit, but this match was actually pretty good. Uh, I liked it uh, from beginning to end. Uh, I really not too you know hip on the Gunner character. Uh, they're building him up a little bit. Uh, they're building him up good, but I don't like the way that they're building him up. That he's taking people out. Uh, we see Gunner pick up the win by DDT RVD onto the cement on the outside of the ring for the win. Post match, we see RVD carried out on a stretcher by EMTs. Uh, then we see a backstage promo with. Well, a couple of matches earlier, backstage promo with Velvet Sky, who was Jeremy Borash, was set to uh, interview Sting. Then we see Velvet, inter uh, you know, talk to Sting about being the new VP of the Knockouts, and gave Sting the idea of a match called a Touch of Velvet. And what it was is a match where they put Madison Rain in a cage suspended over the ring so the Mickey James and Gail Kim can go one on one for the knockouts title which we'll get to that match in just a couple of seconds we see Gail Kim defeat Mickey James by disqualification when Madison Rain tossed Gail Kim the brass knucks Mickey James got a hold of them and used them on Gail Kim getting herself disqualified <clears throat> now, this, I believe, was the match of the night. I got uh, quite a few spots today. Uh, the, well, I liked the whole entire match. The match was awesome. The Monsters Ball match with Abyss and Bully Ray. Now, there were so many moments in this match that I was just like, oh, man, oh, crap. You know, so I was going to go right through them. It was a spot where uh, Abyss gets hit with the barbed wire table, uh, barbed wire board, and his arm gets cut open. Uh, <clears throat> we see Bully Ray get hit in the, as quote-unquote, yam bags uh, with the cheese grater, and he's running around saying, oh, my privates, my privates, my privates. I thought that was comical. Uh, we also see uh, Bully Ray bring in a table, which was used on Bully Ray, choke, abyss choke slamming Bully Ray through the table. We also see uh, Bully Ray sandwich abyss through the two board barbed wire boards and do a set, like a seated senton um, onto the the boards, which I, which 
if you guys, I don't ever want to, you know, be subject to being sandwiched between two boys wrapped in barbed wire. We saw Janice come into play, but wasn't used. Um, we also see, uh, we see Bully Ray uh, choke slammed onto, uh, off the second rope. I'm sorry, correction. Oh, I already did that. Uh, we see Bully Ray slammed onto the tax, choke slammed onto the tax, I'm sorry. Then we also see the black hole slam on the bed of barbed wire, which was... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, which was the closing segments of the match. Your winner of the Monsters Ball Abyss. Now, I believe that match was probably match of the night. I enjoyed that match very well. Uh, it's been a while since I actually got to see some really good hardcore wrestling like that. And it was pretty cool that TNA gave that to us this tonight. Um, we saw that after that was followed by the tag team title match. We see Matt Morgan and Crimson. Uh, take on Samoa Joe and Magnus. Now, this team was paired up during the uh, Deuces Wild Tournament uh, for the Tag Team Championships, where, if you don't remember, the Deuces Wild was a tag team tournament that they put up, and they paired unlikely wrestlers together uh, to team up and to see if they can make it to the finals to win that Tag Team Championships. Uh, that was not the case tonight. We see Samoa Joe and Magnus fall prey to Matt Morgan and Crimson, or as I like to call them, Crimson Print. It was a very back and forth, very good back and forth tag team match, and this was a good tag team match that I hadn't seen in a while. I mean, WWE does their team their tag team matches good, but this one was a, a fast paced back and forth. To be honest, I haven't enjoyed a tag team match like this since Victory Road when the Motor City Machine Guns took on Beer Money for the vacant TNA Tag Team Championships. We see Kurt Angle pick up the win over James Storm, which I kind of knew going into this match that was what was going to happen. The reason why I say that is because, you know, they were building Robert Root up way too good. They were, you know, giving him so many good spots, uh, jumping Kurt Angle, put taking Kurt Angle out, and they were just giving him way too much. Um, we see Kurt Angle low give Robert, uh, sorry James Storm a low blow, followed by the last call, which is James Storm's finishing maneuver, which is almost like a super kick. Then we see this match followed by the TNA World Heavyweight Championship match. Robert Bobby Roode, I'm sorry, he's going by Bobby Roode now, versus the uh, charismatic Enigma. Jeff Hardy. Now this match was a, another interesting match that I was really looking forward to seeing because I kind of figured that they were going to give, uh, let Jeff Hardy pick up the win and give him the title. Uh, you know, going through everything that he went through, and it was a pretty good match. I mean, Jeff Hardy overcame a lot of stuff in his time off. You know, his drug addiction, his uh, problems with the court. You know, he came back and he earned everyone's respect respect, and, and opened up the bridges again to a lot of the backstage talent at TNA. It was a very good match. Unfortunately, Robert Roode's desperation kicked in to retain the title, and he got himself intentionally disqualified to retain. So, with that being said, the winner of the match and still your TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Bobby Roode. Now, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this whole pay-per-view. Uh, this is the first pay-per-view I've seen, uh, TNA, in a couple of months, actually. And I actually thought this was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I'm kind of disappointed, though, because Genesis, over the last couple of years, has had some big names debut. Tonight, there was no debuts. Uh, and I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, I would at least have thought that Jeff Jarrett would have gotten involved in the Jeff Hardy match tonight. But that wasn't the case. Guys, let me know your thoughts and your comments. Please leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts or even send video responses to us letting us know your thoughts. And thanks for tuning in. This is FN True Wrestling, bringing the FN brand of wrestling and entertainment here to you on YouTube.com. I'm JC Styles signing off. Have a great night.